Hi everybody, this is Chess from Retro Nirvana Gaming. Today we're going to talk about Walmart clearance. And so I'm going to show you real quick what I picked up. Uh, we actually picked up uh, three different Walmarts. And we also have some other pickups I want to go through. And so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Here we go. Alright, so first uh, store we got, Nerf Legends. And this is for the Switch. This was $5. Um, I actually do have this on the Xbox as well. I actually got it from Goodwill Computer Works um, in California when we went on vacation. Next one is Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We actually do have this on the Switch and on the PS4, but I really wanted to play it on the Xbox as well and beef up the Xbox collection a little bit. So this was $5. I was like, that's a steal for that game. Next is The Quarry. We actually do have this for PS5. It's a very good horror game. And so for $5, I was like, you know what? Let's beef up the Xbox collection a little bit. So next, we also got Lego Brawl. I actually don't know much about this game. I think it's like kind of like Smash Brothers, but with Lego characters. But for $5, I was like, you know what? Even if I want to resell it or get rid of it or give it away, $5 is actually a pretty good price for that. So then we have Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville Complete Edition. We actually do already have this, so this can be a giveaway or we can try to trade it away uh, for our other games, other Switch games, or PS4 games, PS5 games, etc. Here's a game I have not played um, because I've heard it's not too great, which is Harvest Moon Light of Hope. So this is the new Harvest Moon company, not the company that got sold who now makes Story of Seasons. That company is the old Harvest Moon company. So this company actually doesn't do a very good job with their games. Their games are like two-dimensional farming games, very simplistic graphics, not, not super fun like the other ones that are now called Story of Seasons. But for $5, I was like, you know what, I'll give it a chance. So this is the complete edition. Uh, next, different Walmart, we got, um, yesterday we actually got DreamWorks All-Star Kart Racing. And this one has all the DreamWorks characters in it, such as Kung Fu Panda, you have um, Shrek, you have um, the Boss Baby, there's a whole bunch of different characters in here. I wanted to give it a shot, it was $10. I love kart racing games, so I'm definitely gonna give it a shot. So here's another game that um, I've been waiting to pick up, and that's No Man's Sky for $10 on the Switch. So this is a game that I've been playing on Series X a little bit, but I've been dying to play it on the Switch because you can bring it with you. And um, from what I've heard, it actually plays really, really well on the Switch. And so this game, I think, came out not too long ago, it was like $50 I think when it came out, and so now to get this for $10, I think it was a steal. It might be the best game in the in this haul. Alright, so then from uh, the same Walmart, we also got Riders Republic, which I actually got a few years ago on Black Friday for I think it was like $20, $15 or $20 on the PS5. And I've actually played this before on the PS5, it's actually a really fun extreme sports game, and so for $5 on the Series X, I was like, let's let's grab it. That's a great deal. All right, so now a game that I've been waiting for a while to play on any console, and that is Goat Simulator 3. So this seems like a very silly game. I did see that there's a new um, uh, Easter egg where you actually you can actually do a bunch of Fallout stuff from the Fallout show, and so I think the goat can wear like the Fallout jumpsuit. And there's a whole thing with the bomb going off, and detonating the bomb. It's actually supposed to be kind of silly, and so I was like, you know what? I like these kind of silly games. They're fun to play once in a while, and so for $5, I was like, Ooh, let's grab it. That's a good one. All right, so next, another uh, Series X game. So we got Need for Speed Unbound. Not hugely into the Need for Speed games, but you know what? I was like, for $5, I was like, you can't go wrong with this one. And I haven't played one in a while, so I'd like to see what it looks like on the Series X. Because, generally speaking, great graphics and super fun to play on Series X, so uh, why not? Alright, so then a uh, game I don't own is Hello Neighbor 2. I do have the first one on, on Switch, and so I was like, you know what, for $5, I will try this on the Series X. Like, why not? Let's give it a shot. And so, pick that one up for 5 Okay, so next we have Miraculous, Rise of the Phoenix, I'm sorry, Rise of the Sphinx, 
And so this one, I believe, was $5 as well. And so it's always nice to pick up a, another PS5 game. I uh, don't know too much about this game, except for it's all about superheroes. And so it is two-player co-op. So I'm probably going to try this with Lulu when we get a chance, and we'll see what it looks like. And so now the last game we picked up was One Piece Odyssey, which we actually do own. We actually got this at Goodwill Computer Work. No, I'm sorry, at Walmart in California for $20. And so I never thought we'd beat that $20 price. And instead we got it for 10 for Walmart today. Uh, yesterday. And so, wow, I am blown away. Um, just to have another copy of this game is super sweet. Uh, it might be a giveaway or we might trade it away. We'll see what happens. Uh, and so those are the Walmart pickups. Um, did you guys take advantage of any of the Walmart pickups? I know there's probably still a bunch of Walmart games out there at different Walmarts that they are clearancing out. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you picked up anything from Walmart that you're like, wow, this was a great deal. I know there was like uh, near uh, Yorha edition, I already have the game. Most of the games I, I um, did not find uh, a lot of them that were on my list, but a lot of them I already have. And so um, No Man's Sky was really the one I was looking for the most. Uh, and so happy to pick up as many as we did. Leave us a comment if you found a whole bunch of awesome clearance and what was your favorite thing you found. Um, we also picked up, Lulu picked up a few Super Mario Brothers movie figures. One of them is the Tanuki Mario. And so I think it was a five or six dollar pickup from Amazon. So um, Walmart was actually clearancing these out as well, but they wanted more money. They wanted like nine dollars for these. So. We got these from Amazon instead. They came the next day in a nice box. And Tanuki Mario looks awesome. We picked up a while ago, we picked up Kamek, and then he was actually, I think, $4 on Amazon. And so they were, Goodwill was actually charging like 10 for this. And so we were like, screw that. Goodwill sucks sometimes. It's just the worst. Um, they're greedy. And so the last one we picked up was Peach with the blue shell from Mario Kart. And so she looks pretty awesome. And she was also like five or six dollars as well. So we're starting to uh, put these together as a little bit of a collection. And so do you guys own any of the Mario movie characters, um, figures? Let me know in the comments um, if you actually collect those or if you're interested in collecting them. I know they are kind of uh, dropping in price since the movie is kind of over at this point and I know a lot of uh, retailers are kind of clearancing those out and so um, yeah let me know if you're picking up any of those another thing we picked up from Walmart this was when we went to the first Walmart and we actually did a short about this is this Legend of Zelda book sticker book and so this thing has such great art um, and so this is ten dollars. I'm like not hugely into stickers, but I do love the art of Zelda And so this has a lot of cool. It's kind of a, a kid's book, but it's really cool I mean the stickers are really awesome in here and Even I enjoyed the art that was in here. And so I think it's a nice little coffee table book You know put it on the coffee table if you come visit you can kind of pull it out and show them all the cool stuff in here and so yeah, it's really cool. This one was from Walmart, and it generally goes for $12.99, and this is on sale for $10.38. And so this is the Legend of Zelda official sticker book. So that is going to be going into the collection. Um, Goodwill finds. So we found a couple of things at Goodwill. These um, organizers right here were actually a dollar each. So it says three on the back here. These plastic organizers are actually really nice for Game Boy. They're actually used for, I think, nail polish. And so I found two of these, and each one of these I'm using to display Game Boy cartridges, original Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges. So as you can see, they sit really nicely in there. You can fit three, but you do have to stagger one of them with just a little bit. And so that one's the first one. And the second one looks like this. So we have the same thing little setup like that so this will display the cartridges very nicely and you can see on the back there they were a dollar each and so not bad on those 
Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can subscribe down below to catch all our videos as they come out. And of course, we say thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.